But you may have tried ceviche, which is a scrumptious seafood dish that originated in the coastal regions of Central and South America. It did not originate in the Rockies. Uh, but executive chef Kyle Groves of Catch and Oyster Bar is bringing his own unique spring-inspired take on this particular dish. So we have spicy rhubarb ceviche this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, thank great you. to see you. Yeah, thank so, you very much. Uh, for people who aren't familiar with what ceviche is, what is it? Ceviche is a you know a typical seafood dish uh, again from Central America where it's cooked. The, the food is actually cooked using Acids, uh, typically in citrus, you know, in uh, lemons, limes, oranges, grapefruits, things like that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use it uh, a little bit of a spring twist, like you said, and we're going to use rhubarb. You know, it's a great local Alberta ingredient, and it's just starting to come into season now. Okay. We use some of the lime and, uh, and orange and everything uh, just to give some flavor, but uh, yeah, I mean, the, the liquid is going to be uh, just juiced rhubarb. So we've got a little bit of uh, seafood that's marinating there already, and then okay. we're going to kind of show you how to how to prepare it. Yes. How do you prepare it? Because this to me seems like dangerous territory to tread. So you don't want to. You know, you have to do it properly. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's uh, I, I like I said, I like to use mostly uh, shellfish or uh, you know, there's a little bit of tuna here. So we have some uh, wild albacore tuna. This is a BC fall caught tuna. Okay. Uh, so we're just gonna take it and we're gonna slice thin slices, and that's kind of the key to it. Is uh, if you have thin thin slices, then the acid will help to cook it a little bit uh, a little bit faster. Okay, and there are particular seafoods that you prefer to use. That's right. I like to use, uh, you know, scallops are great, tuna's great, uh, prawns are great. Uh, these are some amazing humpback shrimp from uh, from BC. Uh, so those are a wild-caught, sustainable prawn, which is obviously a very important Priority. thing for us. Yep. Um, but, you know, those are my favorite things to use. But you can use uh, lingcod. Just to kind of stay away from the bottom feeders, I guess, is the, uh, is the key. So. <laughs> those, <laughs> so the, those don't taste so good in a ceviche. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. A little bit scary. You gotta fry those guys. Definitely, yeah. Cooking is uh, recommended with those. But, uh, <laughs> so with the scallop as well, you know, we'll just cut uh, cut nice and uh, nice and thin. There's with our tuna. That's a beautiful scallop. Yeah, those are beautiful uh, weather vane scallops that come from Alaska. Um, a humpback shrimp just like this. You know, we'll just take the shell off uh, just like so. And cut into that one too. And that's there. Now how does the citrus cook the seafood? So it's uh, the citrus is um, or the the acid in it really is what's uh, what's turning the enzyme. So it's turning out different colors. You'll start to see as we pull some of this uh, this seafood out that's been marinating for a little while. It should have a little bit of a opaque white uh, color to it. Okay. And that's how you how you know it should change the texture a little bit. But in our liquid that we've made here before, uh, you know we've got rhubarb juice, we've got orange juice, lemon juice, lime juice, a little bit of uh, honey. We have uh, we're putting some uh, some hives on our on our roof this year. Oh and so really? We're starting to uh, we're going to be producing our own uh, our own honey. So we'll be using uh, using that, but uh, you know, and then just a little bit of chilies in there to finish off. But uh, so yeah, so we'll take that, and then uh, I like how, to take it. How long does it sit in there? Um, you know, usually I, I like to have it in there for about 10, 10 minutes or so. But you know, it can sit longer. It can sit. It can be shorter. It's uh, you know really up to uh, up to however you like it. So you know, make it a bunch of times and decide uh, you know decide which. Uh, <laughs> which it wouldn't way you be like overdone best. though, would it? No, you can you know you could make this a uh, couple hours in advance for sure if you wanted to have a uh, you know a group of people come over for dinner or, or something like that, that would certainly work. And, you know, you can uh, make it as short as 10, 15 minutes beforehand. And I think that's a, it's a great kind of a little party, uh, uh, party trick to make for your guests. If they're yeah. having people come over, it's a real quick, uh, easy, uh, easy dish to make. And is it typically served by itself or do you put it on something? You can serve it with some different, uh, different chips. Uh, you know, we can, we've done taro root chips in the past, but also, you know, just uh, uh, some like the rice crisps and uh, at the grocery store that you can get are also great because, you know, it just adds a little bit of crunch to it. Yeah, so, fantastic. And yeah. of course, you've got the artistic presentation going. That's right. You know, we that have to make great. sure, obviously, at, uh, at Catch, you know, we want to make sure that we're doing things uh, uh, as colorfully and uh, nicely as possible. But this is also something that's going to add the, a little bit of texture to it. So this is uh, just some finely chopped cucumber. Uh, there, I've got a little bit of uh, nicely chopped celery as well. Uh, there, again, both of these nice, uh, nice light colors because I think it, it makes a big difference. Yep. And also, they have uh, that nice uh, little bit of crunch to them that you know you, you definitely need. Otherwise, your seafood doesn't, uh, uh, you know, doesn't have any texture to it. Fantastic. So, we'll take that. We'll garnish with a little bit of uh, the celery leaf. Um, you know, a little bit of salt on there. Put that around just like so. A feast for the eyes. We're yeah, just about out of time here. Of course, you can see Catch or you can check it out on 108th Avenue Southeast on Stephen Avenue. I assure you, Chef, that my presentation would not look the same. But that looks fantastic. Spicy rhubarb ceviche. Thanks so much, Kyle. Thank you. Uh,